Hey guys, this is Lucky from Nightcrawler Illuminati, and today I'll be doing a FAMAS weapon guide. I'm pretty much everything you need to learn about the FAMAS. Um, spraying, tapping, automatic mode, burst fire mode, uh, when to crouch, when not to crouch, how to shoot at long distances, how to shoot at close distances, when to... Pretty much everything in one video. So, first what I'm going to do here is show you the spray pattern with the automatic function of the gun. And then I'll teach you how to properly control it as well as how to shoot other enemies. So, first things first, let me turn on show impact so you guys can see how it looks like. So, pretty much what you're going to see is my three or first three or four bullets is gonna go, are going to go in a line. Or right where my crosshair is. And then it's just going to skyrocket up and then go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So, that's how it looks. As you can see... My first three or four bullets went where my crosshair was, and then it just instantly went up. So what you want to do when you are spraying down with the FAMAS is you want to make sure that you're holding your cro your mouse down, and then you're controlling your mouse to when, if the FAMAS is shooting left, you want to move your mouse to the right, and if the Ma FAMAS is shooting right, you want to move your mouse to the left. So this is how it looks like. As you can see, I kind of made a mistake over here, but... This is pretty much what you want to do when you are firing or shooting against somebody else. You just want to control your spray to the point where it goes in a, cent in a centered location. So again, you want to keep your you want to keep your bullet centralized. Make sure to move your map. Like you have to have really really good control over your gun if you want to be good at spraying. Um, now as for bursting. Go to the other side. As for bursting, bursting is actually pretty good. Um, I think they updated the gun a little bit to make it a little bit more accurate because I've been noticing some mixed results. Um, before it was really bad, I couldn't really hit anybody. But bursting, it's pretty simple. Um, if your gun's on burst fire mode, it'll shoot three bullets. And these bullets have pretty much been going where I want them to go, as you can see right here. So, as you notice, my bullets didn't really, like, move away from my crosshair, and I didn't have to control my mouse in any way. I just clicked mouse one, and this is where they went. I kind of made a face, if you can see. Put a little eyebrows on it. But, anyways, uh, bursting's pretty good. Um, I've noticed some really good results lately. Um, in terms of when to use bursting, bursting is most effective when long range like this. It's easier to shoot down an enemy in terms of just automatic mode. You never want to burst if, some, if like an enemy's right here and you're pretty much right here. Don't ever burst in the situation because it's really, really bad. Um, if you miss your burst, you're probably going to die. The guy has a really good reaction time. Um, in terms of bursting versus automatic, I'm more of an automatic person myself. I'm not a really big fan of bursting all that much compared to the automatic function. In the automatic function, I have the best of both worlds. I can just, I can burst down, and I can spray down at the same time. Uh, tip, that's not, not even a tip. It's more of a warning. Always make sure you know what mode your gun is on, because if you're, if you think your gun's automatic, but it's really on burst, and if you shoot, it's only gonna shoot three bullets, and you're gonna be like, what? What happened? My gun got sucked. So always make sure that you know what version or what mode your gun is stuck on, and make sure to position yourself properly when you're trying to get an easy kill. So. Um, pretty much for distances for spraying, it's kind of like the M4. You can spray down from like a distance from here to there. Spraying this gun is really accurate against enemies. There's there's really no downside to it other than it only has 25 bullets compared to an M4A4 which has 30. Um, bursting, like I said, never close range. It's always bad. Wouldn't recommend. So, right now for part two of this guide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to DM against some bots and I'm going to show you how I properly use the techniques that I, I just explained. So I'm equipping the bots right now and what you're going to see is I'm going to pretty much go over how to spray against bots close range and long range, how to, how to burst properly and how to just overall use this gun to its maximum potential. So like I said from distances like these you never really want to burst, what you want to do is just Aim for the head. You can even tap a little bit. Tapping is really effective. I 
as you saw, tapping is really good. Um, as for spraying people down, and when I was showing you guys the the video against the wall, you saw that my first four bullets pretty much went them went right in a straight line. So, the first four bullets in any gun, they really go where you wanna want them to go without having to move your mouse that much to control your spray pattern. So, um, basically in the first four, you have really really good chance of killing somebody. As for full automatic spraying, um, in my previous guide I showed you guys a tip you can do when you're in a firefight against somebody from this range to this range. So what you want to do here is just make sure to position your mouse properly, shoot them, and then pretty much kill them. Um, what you can do when you're fighting somebody is just tap crouch in between sh shots because then it makes them kind of uh, scared and they're going to be like, oh, this guy's moving a lot. Uh, I have to hit his head, they aim for your head, but you're crouched, and then you come back up and they're aiming for your crouched body, etc. So. I went kind of a little hectic there, but I just didn't really want to let go of mouse one. Um, as you saw, I killed like five people. I would have run out of bullets eventually, but. Um. Like I said, you have to really control your spray. You have to be, you have to DM a lot and pretty much figure out what you like doing. Um, as for bursting, I'm gonna show you guys that right now. I'll just kill this body. As for bursting, you really wanna do it in long range distances like I'm about to show you. It's pretty effective, so like distances from like this to this. Um, pretty much from like pits to long A. That, that's a really good bursting distance. As you saw before, the first like three or four bullet, or every bullet actually, just stays where my crosshair is, <clears throat> and it's pretty good. The first two go right in the center, and then the other one just goes up. So, aiming for like the upper part of the chest, good. Aiming for the head is also good because of how the bullet, one bullet, just strays upward. Bursting from here is never good because if the guy just moves, uh, he can potentially kill me. So that's pretty much generally what you want to do with Hamas. Um, things you need to be warned about again is the difference between automatic and burst fire. You have to know what function your gun is on or else sometimes you can think your gun's on one function but it's really not and then you, you kind of like throw yourself off. Um, crouch when you're shooting people, it throws their game off a little bit and just you have to DM a lot. That's the only way to get better, get better aim, get better muscle memory, get better anything. So, again, quick recap. Spraying's pretty good, tapping's good, bursting's pretty good with the gun as well. And that was pretty much the general recap of this tutorial. So, anyways, thanks guys for watching this video. This was Lucky from Nekodomonati. For more content like this for myself for other pros, please tune to